Hi kids, let's learn our numbers with Cookie Monsters on the go numbers. Hiya, me smell cookie. Oh look, it's Cookie Monster. Yeah, 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 me smell cookie. You're right Cookie Monster, we do have cookies. Yeah, me want cookie. All right Cookie Monster, let's learn our numbers first and then you can have a cookie. Okay, me good at numbers. Go ahead and count the numbers. Okay, here's a... Um... Uh... Me don't remember. It's okay, Cookie Monster. We can help you learn your numbers. Okay. Here's the number one. It has one wormy. And here's number two. We have two teddy bears. Here's number three. We have three little duckies. And what's this number? Um, me know it. Uh, um, me don't know it. That's okay. It's the number four. Oh, yeah, yeah, number four. Great job. Here's the number four. Four. And we have four goldfish. What do we have here? It's the number five. And we have five flies. Here we go with the next number. It's number six. And we have six bats. Here's seven. And we have seven pigeons. What's the next number? Um, maybe me best friend can help. Me best friend. Hi, Kiki Monster. Me need help with numbers. Oh, Elmo can help. What? This number. That's the number eight. Oh, oh, okay. Elmo's right. It's the number eight. And we have eight party horns. How about this number? Uh, let me see. Um, it starts with N. Um, nine? Great job, Cookie Monster. Yeah. Yeah, now me get cookie? Not yet. We have to finish the numbers. Oh. Uh, that's okay, Cookie Monster. It's almost done. Okay. Here's the number nine. Number nine has nine chickens. And here's the last number. What's the last number, Cookie Monster? Ah, uh, let me see, let me see. Um, um, cookie. No, Cookie Monster. Try again. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, uh, it's the number ten. Yeah, you got it, Cookie Monster. Yay! That mean me get cookie? Almost. Here's the number 10. And we have 10 cookies. Me know it. Cookies! Now, can you help me put the numbers back together? Okay, um, here it with number one. That's right. Here's number one. And here's number two. Right, it's number two. Great job, Elmo and Cookie Monster. And what was the next number? Let's look for it. There it is. It's number three. What's the next number? Next is number four. It's here, right here. Great job, Cookie Monster. Let's put it in the right spot. There you go. Next number is five. Good job, Elmo. Here's number five. Yeah, yeah. And then we have six. What's the next number? Right, seven. And then here's eight. Nine. Oh, oh, me want to do it. Next is 10. Right, you got it, Cookie Monster. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Number 10, right here. Let's help Cookie Monster get the last number in. Now, can you count all the numbers, Cookie Monster? Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Me did it. Thanks for helping, Elmo. You're welcome. Bye, Cookie Monster. Bye, everyone. All 
All right, Cookie Monster, here's your cookies. Yum! Cookie! So colorful! So tasty! But why are they stuck? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see what's behind them. Here's a green cookie. Oh, look! It's Oscar! Here's a yellow cookie. There's Big Bird. What about this cookie? It's orange. And we have Ernie. Here's a red cookie. It's Elmo. Next cookie is blue. It's Grover. Here's another green cookie. It's the Count. Here's the yellow cookie. We have Bert. And now for the orange cookie. It's Abby. And here's the last two cookies. Let's see what's behind the red cookie. It's Snuffy. And now the very last blue cookie is Cookie Monster. Wow, it all me friends. Right, it's all our Sesame Street friends. Now can we have cookie? Here they are. Cookie! Oh no, Cookie Monster, not all of them. Okay, me done. Bye-bye. Today, we're learning our alphabet and our colors with the Elmo alphabet book. Starting off with letter A. A is purple. Purple. The letter A was hiding Abby. Here's B. We have a blue letter B. Blue. And who was hiding behind letter B? It was Bert. His name begins with the letter B. Next is C. C is green. And it was hiding Cookie Monster. D. D is orange. And it's hiding a drum. How does a drum sound like? E. E is red. And it's hiding Ernie. F. We have a purple F. And it's hiding a football. G. The letter G is blue. And it was hiding Grover. H. H is green. And it's hiding a horse. What sort of sound does a horse make? <laughs> right, it neighs. Here's I. I is orange. Orange. And it's hiding ice cream. Next is the letter J. J is red. And it's hiding jam. Next, here's the letter K. K is purple. Purple. And it's hiding a kite. Here's the letter L. L is blue. And it's hiding lemons. Lemons are very sour. M. M is green. And it was hiding Murray. Here's the letter N. N is orange. And it's hiding a nest. Letter O. O is red. And it's hiding Oscar. Next letter is P. And it's purple. P was hiding a pumpkin. Q. Q is blue. And it's hiding a queen. R. R is green. And it's hiding Rosita. Next is S. S is orange. And it's hiding Snuffy, the Snuffleupagus. T. T is red. Red. And it has a tree. U. U is hiding an umbrella. Umbrellas are useful for rainy days. V. V is blue. And it's hiding a violin. W. W is green. And it's hiding a wagon. Next is X. X is orange. And it's hiding an x-ray. An x-ray can help see your bones. Here's Y. Y is red. And it's hiding a yo-yo. And the last letter is Z. It's purple. And it's hiding Zoe. All right, let's test how much you learned so far. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. 
O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, good job, guys. Now we can try spelling some easy words. Let's use a C, A, and a T. What does that spell? Cat. Great job. Now let's try spelling another word. How about D, O, G? What does this spell? Dog. Dogs make barking noise. Woof, woof. And cats make a meowing noise. Meow. Big Bird. Cookie Monster. Oscar. Elmo. Big Bird is yellow. He has a circle. On the back, Big Bird has a whole bunch of letters for the alphabet and a brown teddy bear. Here's another circle. Cookie Monster is blue. And he has a square. Let's turn him over. What does he have on his back? He has a whole bunch of numbers and a cookie with another square. Let's count these numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here's Oscar the Grouch. He's green and grouchy. He has a silver bottom for his trash can and a triangle. Let's flip him over to the back. There's Slimy, his best friend Worm. And here is another triangle with a whole bunch of shapes. Let's see if we can name them. Here's a circle, a pentagon, a rectangle, oval, triangle, and square. Finally, here's Elmo. Elmo is red and he has a pink heart in the front. Let's flip him over and he has his favorite orange toy. One, two, three, four. Whoa, something magical happened. Looks like our Sesame Street friends are hiding something behind them. Let's look behind Big Bird. Big Bird has some yellow slime. Let's open the slime up and play with it. Wow, look on the inside. It's really jiggly and pearly. Whoa, that feels gooey and a little bit sticky. All right, let's put the yellow slime back in its container so it doesn't dry up. Next, let's see what's behind Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is hiding blue slime. Let's try it out. Look at this one. It's bubbly. This one's not pearly at all. And it's got a really cool blue color. It's very fun and stretchy. Okay, that was fun. Let's put it back in its container. Let's see what's behind Oscar the Grouch. It's green slime, Oscar's favorite color. Let's try out the green slime. Look at that, it's ooey gooey and green. And this one also has bubbles. Let's get it on out. Ooh, it sure is stinky because Oscar likes to keep his favorite things in the trash can. Whoa, look how stretchy this one is. And finally, what does Elmo have behind him? It's red slime. Let's try out the red slime. Red slime looks very shiny. And it's very stretchy, just like the other ones. These are really fun to play with. All right, Red Slime, let's get you back to Elmo. Not only are these nesting dolls colorful and fun, you could also stack them on each other. Let's use Oscar the Grouch and stack the Elmo nesting doll inside. Now Oscar the Grouch has a pink heart peeking out from the triangle. Next, let's take the Cookie Monster nesting doll and place the Oscar nesting doll inside. 
Oscar is now hiding away in the Cookie Monster nesting doll, and now Cookie Monster has the pink heart and a triangle inside the square. Finally, let's take the Big Bird nesting doll, the largest nesting doll of them all, and let's fit the Cookie Monster nesting doll inside. Whoa! Now all the shapes are together. Close the lid up, and. All the nesting dolls are hiding inside the Big Bird nesting doll. Cookie Monster can be stacked onto the Big Bird stacking cup. Oscar can go on top of Cookie Monster, and finally Elmo can go on top of the Oscar nesting doll. Whoa, that's really tall! Let's play with pop-up toys. This one is a Sesame Street pop-up toy. Look, right here is Big Bird. Let's see who's inside the first one. We have Slimy, Oscar's pet worm. And he's sitting on an orange circle. Orange. With a garbage can that says Oscar on it. I wonder who's hiding in the garbage can. Could it be Oscar? Let's twist Slimy and see. There you go. It's Oscar the Grouch, and he's in a whole bunch of garbage. Oscar is green. Green. Let's move on to the A B C blocks. The A B C blocks are green. And I see a yellow box with the big letter E. Yellow. Let's press it and see who pops out. It's Elmo. This is the song. La 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 la. Elmo song. Elmo is red. Red. Next up, we have a blue boat. What's above the blue boat? It's a bubble bath. Let's slide the blue boat and see who pops out. It's Ernie, and it looks like it's bath time. He has a whole bunch of bubbles everywhere. And what is Ernie holding? It's a yellow rubber ducky. Ernie's orange. Orange. Let's move on to the green cookies. We have a green cookie jar with the word cookie written on it in white. Let's press the cookies and see who pops out. Cookie. It's Cookie Monster, and look how many cookies he has. Cookie Monster is blue. Blue. Let's close up each of our friends and try them again, real quick. Oscar, Elmo, Ernie, Cookie Monster. Next, let's see which pop-up house is in this one. We have a green window. A blue window, an orange door, and a silver trash can. The green window has a green button with a yellow rubber ducky. The blue window has a fish bowl with a cold fish in there. The orange door has a chocolate chip cookie, and the silver trash can has Slimy the worm. Now let's press each of these buttons and see who pops out. Here we go with the green, yellow rubber ducky. It's Ernie, and he's holding a yellow rubber ducky. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. Next, let's try the fish bowl with the goldfish. Let's slide this one over. Whoa! It's Elmo. Elmo's red. <laughs> Now let's press the chocolate chip cookie. Who do you think is going to pop out of the orange door? It's Cookie Monster, and he's holding his favorite thing—a chocolate chip cookie. How about Slimy? Let's twist Slimy, and out pops Oscar the Grouch. Oh, I love trash. Anything dirty or dingy or dusty. <laughs> he's holding an apple. But it's not a whole apple. It's an apple that's already been eaten. Let's close our friends back up and try them again. Ernie, Elmo, Cookie Monster, Oscar. Now let's play with this pop-up toy. You can see we have green, orange, white, green. And orange. Up top we have numbers: one, two, three, four, and five. For number one, let's see who pops up. Let's press the dial. It's Ernie, and his button made a squeaky noise. 
Who's hiding behind number two? Let's flip this orange switch and find out. It's Bert! Number three, let's slide over the white button. It's Big Bird! Big Bird's wearing a red bow tie. Let's try number four. We're gonna twist this green button. Out comes Cookie Monster! And he's holding a cookie. Now we have this fun orange dial here for number five. Let's spin it and see who comes out. It's Oscar the Grouch! He's green and in a blue garbage can. Let's try again, and this time faster. One, it's Ernie. Two, Bert. Three, Big Bird. Four, Cookie Monster. Five, Oscar. Wow, what just showed up? It's fruit. Let's learn about these fruits. Let's try the first fruit. It's green and it has dark green stripes. It's a watermelon. Let's slice it. Watermelon is red on the inside and it has black seeds. Watermelon. It's really sweet and tasty. Next, we have an orange. Orange. Let's slice the orange open. The orange is orange and yellow on the inside. It's an excellent source of vitamin C. And it also tastes good as orange juice. Let's try some more fruit. How about this red apple? Apple. Let's slice into the apple. Inside the apple is yellow. And it has one, two, three, four, five seeds. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. We have two more fruit left. Here is a green pear. When we slice into the pear, what color will we see? Whoa, it's a light green. And it has one, two seeds on the inside. Pear. Our last fruit is purple. Purple. And it's a plum. Plum. Let's slice into it and see what color it is. Whoa, that's a neat pattern. It's pink on the inside. I hope you had fun learning today. It's Cookie Monster's birthday, and we're going to make him some cookies. Cookies! Me smell cookies? Not yet, Cookie Monster. We're making them. Yum, 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 yum. See, it's for Cookie. That's good enough for me. Okay, I just wait here. Cookie Monster is really excited about his birthday cookies. So let's get started. Whoa, we have so many eggs to crack. Let's start with this one. This egg has Bert on it. Let's take Bert's egg to the mixer. All right, it's ready to open. Whoa, Bert's egg had red slime in it. Let's get it into the mixer. And he also has a red circle. Red. Next up, here's an egg with Big Bird. Let's crack the egg into the bowl. Big Bird had yellow slime. Let's get it into the mixer. Hey, look. Big Bird also had a yellow arrow. Yellow. Next, here's an egg with Cookie Monster on it. Did you say cookie? No, not yet, Cookie Monster. But here's an egg with your face on it. Wow, me like egg with my face on it. It look like cookie. Here we go. Let's crack Cookie Monster's egg into the mix. Tap, tap, crack. Cookie Monster's egg had blue slime in it. Into the mixer it goes. And he also has a blue heart. Blue. Who's our next egg? It's Elmo. Let's crack Elmo's egg open. Boop, boop, boop. Inside Elmo's egg is red jiggly slime. Let's get it into the mixer. Elmo also has a red trapezoid. Let's go for the next egg. It's Telly. Let's get it into the mix. Telly has purple slime. And this is a funny shape. Can you guess what it is? It's a star, but it has eight points. So it's an eight pointed star. Let's grab some more eggs. Here is Count. Count loves to count. Let's get Count's egg in the mix. Count has green slime. In you go. And he also has a green hexagon. Green. Next, 
here's Rosita. Let's crack Rosita's egg. Rosita has green slime and a green diamond. Here's another egg and it has Zoe. Let's get the Zoe egg into the mix. Zoe has yellow slime and a yellow flower. Here's Oscar the Grouch. He loves trash. Here's Oscar's egg. Let's give it a crack and open it up. Oscar's egg has red slime. And he also has an orange star. Orange. We need some more eggs. Here is Ernie. Let's give Ernie a tap, tap, tap and crack the egg into the mix. Oh, Ernie has purple slime and an orange triangle. Here's our last two eggs. We have Grover. Let's add Grover to the mix. Grover has blue slime and a blue diamond. Our very last egg is Abby. Here goes our last egg into the cookie mix. Abby has purple slime and she also has a purple plus sign. Purple. Let's get our eggshells back into the egg carton. How many eggs did we add to the mix? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, we added twelve eggs to the cookie mix. That's a lot of eggs. Now we only need a couple more ingredients and our cookie mix will be ready. Let's add some flour, some butter. We have two slices here. One, two. Oh no, we need milk, but we don't have any. Can you help me find some milk to put in our cookie mix? Let's make our way over to the refrigerator and see if we have any milk. Do you see any milk? Here's some string cheese, caramel corn. I see some bananas, a green apple. Here's some strawberries, sparkling water, and there it is. Great job, we found the milk together. Now let's close the refrigerator so the food doesn't go bad. Let's add the milk to the mix. And now we can start mixing. Let's put the mixer head down and turn the mixer on to one, two, three. Now it's ready to mix our cookie mix. Whoa, it's mixing all of our ingredients together. Our cookie mix is ready. Wow, we have lots of colors. Red, blue, purple, green, and yellow. We can start making Cookie Monster some cookies by rolling the balls of dough out. Let's go for purple first. How about we make Cookie Monster some alphabet cookies? Here's the letter A. Let's get the A cookie cutter on here, press in, and we should have the letter A. Here it is. A is for awesome. Cookie Monster will love these. Next, let's do a blue cookie. This one can be the letter B. B is for birthday. We're baking Cookie Monster some birthday cookies. We can put this right beside the letter A cookie. Now how about we make him a green cookie? The green cookie can be the letter C. Cookie Monster's favorite letter. C is for cookie. Here's the letter C. We can place it with the rest of the cookies. We have two more colors left. What other letters can we make? Here's yellow. Right, we can make the letter D. D is next in the alphabet. Whoa, here's D. That's a lot of cookies. Cookie Monster is going to be really excited. Here's the last of our cookie dough. It's red. Let's roll our cookie dough out. The next letter is E. E is for egg. We used lots of eggs in this cookie mix. And E is also for excited. 
That's what Cookie Monster is going to be after he sees all the cookies we made him. And here's the letter E. We made him one, two, three, four, five cookies. Did someone say cookies? <gasps> cookies! Can we eat them? Not yet, Cookie Monster. We have to bake them. Duh. Me want cookie real bad. Me tummy's hurting. Just a little longer, Cookie Monster. They'll be ready in just a bit. A bit? Oh no, it take too long. Now we have to make our way over to the oven and bake the cookies for Cookie Monster. Hiya, me ready. Oh look, Cookie Monster got dressed up as a chef to help us bake. Yeah, yeah, where are me cookies? We have to get the cookies on a baking tray. Here's the letter A cookie, B, C, D, and E. Cookie! Yum, yum, yum! Wait a second, Cookie Monster, those are all cookie dough. Oh, right, right. Now, up top here, we can turn on our oven. This red dial will help us set the temperature. Uh oh, me want to help. Can me do it? Sure, go ahead, Cookie Monster. Turn the dial to 375. Okay, okay, here you go. Me think it's working. Yeah, that sound means it turned on. Now let's open the oven door. Let's place our cookies in here so they can bake for Cookie Monster's birthday. We'll close up the door so none of the heat escapes. And now these buttons will help us set a timer for the oven. Can we press it? Sure, go ahead, Cookie Monster. Okay. Me hear a timer. Oh, me cookies ready? Yep, that sound means it's ready. Let's see how they turned out. Let's use an oven mitt so we don't get burned. Wow, look at those cookies. What? Me cookies shrunk in the oven. You're right, they are lowercase letters now. In the beginning, they were uppercase letters. That means they were bigger alphabet letters. Now they're the smaller alphabet letters. Oh well, me still love cooker. Can we have it? Sure, go ahead, it's your birthday. But don't you want to share with someone else? Um, me best friend, Elmo. Hi, Kiki Monster. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. You want me birthday cookie, Elmo? Elmo loves cookies. Thanks, Kiki Monster. You're welcome. Nom, 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 Okay, thanks for baking birthday cookies with me. Happy birthday, Cookie Monster. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Hi, kids. Let's bake something delicious with our oven. Hiya. Me smell cookie. Oh, look. It's Cookie Monster. He wants to help us bake something. Me want to bake cookie. All right, Cookie Monster. We'll bake some cookies. But first, we have to set everything up. Okay, me wait. First, we have to get our oven ready. And that requires some setting up. I'm going to need your help to do this. Up top, we have two burners and a special place that we can grill stuff. Wow, cool. It's even removable. In the back, we have tons of stuff. Here's the top panel. It has a fun backsplash and some other realistic buttons. We're going to take this part. This is the top panel of the oven and insert it into the back wall of the oven. This will give us some support so that we can connect the oven unit in the front. But before we do that, we have some screws that we need to add. We have a whole bunch of these screws, and these will help keep the oven parts locked in place. Let's add one right here to secure the top panel to the back that we just added. Let's push that in and twist. Great job! Let's go to the other side and add another screw. Same as the other side, we just insert the screw and twist. Now we can connect the front of the oven to the back of the oven, making sure everything lines up. Now we can add some more screws. There's one spot right here. Let's add one in there. One that goes right here and one that goes right here. First we're going to add them and then twist them later. Let's see. If they twist, it means we did it right. And the twist will lock it into place. That one worked. Let's do the second one. Awesome! And how about the last one? There you go! Now let's do the other side. Let's add one screw to the top, a second screw to the middle, and a screw to the bottom. Now we can twist it and close it up. 
And now let's lock the last one up. Just like that. Now let's open the oven up and place our shelf in there. This is where we can place our food on. Our oven also has a pan. We can cook eggs and bacon on here. Our spatula will help us do that. Hey, look, we have an egg right here. It's a fried egg. And we also have a slice of bacon and some steak. Up here we have one, two, three, four buttons. Let's see what some of them do. Whoa, it makes cooking sounds. Here's some boiling sounds if we want to boil water for some pasta. And you can keep on changing the temperature. Let's see what this one does. Whoa, it looks like we can fry stuff with that button. That sounds like we're making some french fries. There's the toasting button. I see two slices of toast. How about making some pancakes? We have some pancakes over here. This button over here grills things. We can use it for our grill up here. Here's the next button. Whoa, this one turned on the lights to this burner. Cool. This button controls this burner and this button controls this burner. You can see the lights in there. It looks like real fire. But you never want to touch a real oven burner. It's dangerous and hot. Let's look up here. We have another knob here. This controls the temperature of our oven. We can move it up or down based on what we're cooking. And over here we have a display showing us our temperature. And some more buttons. Those sound like our oven timers. How about we get our pan ready and put it on the first burner and turn it on. We can make some eggs. We have to make sure not to burn it. That's what our spatula is good for. If the handle gets hot, we have a towel that we could use. Our egg is ready. Let's take it out with our spatula. Next, how about we cook some steak? We can turn this dial to the steak option. It's sizzling. That means it's cooking. We can also place a piece of bacon in there too. I think we have enough room for that. When one side is done cooking, we can flip it with our spatula. Let's flip our bacon so that both sides are cooked evenly. Great job! Our steak and our bacon are cooked. But what about me cookies? Oh right, we promised to make some cookies with Cookie Monster. Can we turn on the oven? All right, be very careful. Turn the oven to 375. Whoa! Me better not touch this. It's hot. Great thinking, Cookie Monster. Carefully turn on the dial to the oven. Okay, 375. Let's help Cookie Monster turn the dial. Me did it! Great job, Cookie Monster. Okay, now what me do? We have to open the oven door. Okay. Let's help Cookie Monster open the oven door. Where me cookies? Here's a tray. Let's add the cookies. All right, Cookie Monster, count with me. One, two, three, four cookies. Me want to eat them so bad. Hang on, Cookie Monster. We have to bake them first. Okay. Let's place the cookies in the oven and close the door. Let's not forget to set the timer so our cookies don't burn. Me want to do it. All right, Cookie Monster. Set the timer. Here you go. Oh, me so excited. Me want all the cookies. <gasps> me cookies ready? It sounds like it. Let's check on them. Oh, oh, me so excited. Here you go. Watch out, Cookie Monster. Okay, okay. Let's use our towel to take the tray out. Mmm, they smell so good. Me want to eat them. You want to eat all four? That's a lot of cookies. It's okay. Me love cookie. Um, nom 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 nom. Um, nom 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 nom. Um, um. Okay, me full now. Whoa, Cookie Monster finished all the cookies. Thanks for helping me bake cookie. Bye.